Hi everybody. I just want to make a quick video here today. It's something that I have uh, come to realize. I mentioned in my videos um, here lately that I have been thinking about some whys. Like, why did I stop writing? Why did I not um, become more creative without drawing or even light language? Um, and even this goes with my, my light sessions that I am doing. You know, we have the ability to create. Our thoughts can become things. And so today, I have understood something. Um, and I just wanted to share that information with you guys to help you, hopefully help you, understand the significance of the sacred secretion is. You know, because I have also been um, seeing other people, um, people who have great gifts, and these are beautiful gifts, truly beautiful gifts. And I've been trying to read, um, I guess, information that these people um, are giving to others. And I'm using the word people, you know, without saying names, of course, and this is non-judgment. This is about me understanding the true concept about what it is to be light. By my example, this is also why I refrained from writing on my social media pages. The videos that I give to you guys here are of the process, the ascension process. If you ha go back you know, at least a couple of years here. I forget how many years I've been doing this. What, three years maybe? My videos are working through the ascension process. Which have been working, ironically, <laughs> with energy. We are at the correct time to ascend. And here's an example. Love has the ability to make you feel whole. And I mean love between a couple here or a marriage. It has the ability to make you feel whole. You have now a counterpart that is here making you feel whole in complete love. And just like many relationships that you get into, it begins to be very fulfilling. Everything is on a high note. You feel high vibration. So centered together, things make sense. You guys are moving in motion together. Then things begin to slowly fall to pieces for many relationships, okay? And it might not take place Instantly, it might go from, you know, years down the line or you start noticing the togetherness that you once felt is no longer present and you don't know how to get back into unity with each other. Then the only thing you can do is separate and then let's go find somebody else. When we are centered or when we are within couples, we love the feeling of wholeness. Wholeness. That's what we are always attempting to achieve in our life. And wholeness is only possible through alchemy, through the sacred secretion. If we have the ability to create or even foresee, but, ha but have not performed our tithe or kept our Sabbath day holy, we are backed up by a corruptible seed. Now, this is something that not everybody is going to tell you. Because the ego is very, very strong. False light is very, very strong. And very powerful. Even with myself 
having the ability to see internally and share this gift with others. Had I not begun the sacred secretion practices, I would be blinded by darkness or fooled by false light. I could have been. I haven't had any sessions in a very, very long time. It hasn't felt right. Now, I'm not saying that I am a bad person um, in all the information that I give um, when I am helping people through my light sessions. I'm not saying that anybody else out there who has the ability to foresee and share gifts that way are bad people. But until we have performed the sacred secretion, we are corrupted and we are being coerced or can be coerced um, by false light. There are a lot of people out there who are teaching um, sexual magic that actually leads to um, uh, dark magic or trained by dark magic. Our tithes raising the sacred secretion is surrounded by love. It's not about sex. It's um, <laughs> not about magic um, or dark magic. It's uh, about love and about conserving the seed. Using the seed until it's time frame for it to bloom into the solar seed and therefore something or the Christ is reborn within you. So I'm not saying that I am a bad person or that any person, like I said, ha who has the gift is bad. I am being very honest here and about this, which is something that you know not everybody is going to be honest about, like I said, that by not performing the sacred secretion, we are dark. We are still of corrupt corrupted seed and not reborn of light. Um, it wouldn't be so, it would have been so easy for me to keep writing. You know, there was flow when it began. There was lots of excitement. I felt so connected. Um, and the visions were just so beautiful that I could have, I could have written several books all about this. You know, and information was given to me about books, ideas, titles, everything. And I could have ran with that. It could have given me great success, great fulfillment, wholeness, and made me again feel unified. At any time within my process, I could have become successful by writing, by performing light sessions or whatever else I wanted to do, that spirit place within my head and my heart but it never felt right. How can anything be right when we are not whole? And I've known this. I've known the true reason why I have stopped everything. But in order, unless you get to a certain point within your, your cycle, you don't have complete understanding. You can look back by your own growth period your own expansion, your own truth, and say, ah, oh, now I understand why. The purpose of our life here on earth is to become whole, not by anything else within this reality, not by looking outside of ourselves in this reality, but going within, making the connections, and completing the process of unity. We only become whole when we are centered in love while performing the sacred secretion. This is conserving the seed within per your moon cycles. Your moon cycle every single month and this is why love fulfills the law. You love yourself. 
you love others. You are, you know, let's see if I can make it more simple. When we are fighting ourselves internally and therefore fighting others in our reality, we are not love. We're spilling the seed. You can say, I am love, just like you can say, I am faith. But how you act on a daily basis, because your, your thoughts are still impure, then you are not centered in love and you are not keeping or preserving the sacred secretion. During that time frame, especially when you have an awareness now, but I had as I have mentioned, made it a practice to always be centered in love, no matter what time of the month it is. Therefore, I am always doing correctly. I am always being loving within myself. I'm allowing all the energies within myself to work with each other. Um, so the best thing that we can do in learning truly about how to perform the sacred secretion is being mindful of our thoughts and our emotions on a daily basis and how we are actually reacting to situations in our lives. Who we are at our most difficult situations in life is who we truly are. Every time you have an experience that makes you feel completely depressed, angered, out of control, lonely, anxious, fearful, that is who you are. It's easy to be a good person when life feels right, when nothing is going on that is wrong and terrible and defeating. It's easy. But who we are when we struggle is who we are. And when you change that, you are not wasting the seed. You can say, oh, I am love, I am a good person, I am in faith. But there's an inner chaos in, inside of you that says otherwise, that spills the seed. It does not preserve the seed when our emotions are off. In order to become whole, we must be put to death and then therefore be reborn. And you hear that all the time. Put to death. The ego is so powerful. I'm telling you it's so powerful. It's going to tell you, write your book. It's going to tell you perform those sessions. It's going to tell you to create um, all kinds of things. Now, bear with me here. It doesn't mean that those who are creating these things are corrupted. Okay? It doesn't mean, I'm not saying oh, there are some of these people who are probably have completed or are working on the sacred secretion. You must be the judge of that yourself. But then there are those who have no idea about what it truly means to be unified. They believe that because they have the ability to what channel information, that they are already unified. And that is not the case. That is not the case. Everything within this lifetime from within ourself must die. Those ideas even the gifts that we have, including our emotions, must die. You know, and that's why I've also refrained from doing my sessions. It began to not feel right. Because I'm not right yet within myself. I am not whole within myself. And especially through... You might say, well, I've been going through some things like, um, you know, the death of uh, my mother-in-law and how um, time consuming it was um, for an X amount of time that I, I didn't perform those sessions. And had I not gone through that 
Maybe I would still go, be going. Maybe. But not really. Because life has been slowly moving it out of my life for me to figure out the reasons behind it. Am I really of light? I am not yet. I am not unified. And it isn't right for me, especially like when I am going through some major upgrades uh, and therefore having experiences in my life that are showing me my own inner darkness. I have told people, I'm sorry, I can't perform anything for you because of what I am going through. It is not right of me to give you information, light, and love when I am not complete, when I am in my own darkness. It isn't going to be. Even though my heart is full of love, there's no way, shape, or form it's going to be of good use because I am not of good use. I am not complete. I am not whole. I am not um, in the full embodiment of my higher self through spirit. And so I hope that makes sense. Um, we can only be of greater service when we have risen and embodied love and light. So I want to read a couple of verses here. Um, in 1 Peter 1.23, it says, Being born again not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. You know, it, it says it completely right there that, um, you know, through the raising of our sacred secretion by accumulating all 12 zodiacal signs, through your moon cycle, plus the one, you know, and my theory is that this needs to be taken place. Um, and I, I don't know this for certain, you know, because we both, we all have the masculine and the feminine aspects of self within us. Um, it might be two cycles of 12. It could be three cycles of 12. I don't really know. I've gone back through my own journaling to see this summer will be two years, will mark two years when, when Source guided me again about the sacred secretion. Four years ago, when I began my process, the sacred secretion came into my awareness quickly. I had no idea. I could not understand it at all. It made no sense to me. Moon cycle, this, that, what, you know, what does that mean? No, this and that. I was like, okay, I'm going to let it rest. I know that I should be in love. And love is going to be my guide. And if I am not feeling loved through an argument, because I'm usually angry, angry, then that means I'm not centered in love. And I'm going to learn from this. If something in my reality makes me upset from the garbage not being taken out, from the dishes not being done, from something being left on the table, trash, whatever it is, um, someone didn't pick up something for me, they didn't, someone didn't do this for me, how dare you do this? Those are all about not being centered in love. It's your own internal illusion. Therefore, it has to be transformed by the accumulation of all of your 12 cell salts and the cycles that are necessary for it. It adds up for a total of one solar seed. It's required that you accumulate an X amount of moon cycles to accumulate one eternal golden seed. It says here in Ephesians um, 5, 5 through 7, For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an adulterer, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. You know, being unclean is every single thing that is not love. 
every unclean thought, every unclean emotion. It goes all the way down to the very nucleus, the very cell, the very first atom within our body of disease, full of disease. And it has to be purified. Somebody who seeks to control their daily reality or seeks to, I have to have this, um, I need to be rich, I need to write this book and get this word out, I need to be here for somebody. I have to share every single thing that is being given to me. Um, is somebody that will not inherit the kingdom. You must purify yourself. And the purified self is the one who has accumulated all of their moon cycles. The moon cycle deals with the feminine energy and of the womb. Purity of the womb is the only thing that can hold the solar seed intact. Well, let's see if I can really make um, explain this well for you. We all can be good people. And we, we are really trying to be our greatest self here if we are working through our ascension cycle. Love is always going to be our guide to be our greatest self. But the Christ seed can only illuminate the mind when we have really let go of all of this reality. Everything in this reality must be shed because it is a part of the illusion that has kept us kept us from being unified. You really have to teach yourself about the illusion. If you see the illusion outside of you, it is because the illusion is within you. If you see the darkness outside of you, it is because the darkness is within you. It is the veil and it is not love and light. You know, so I don't know what's going to happen to me when I complete this. My only now desire can be used incorrectly here. My inner being wanted to be whole. That's it. That's it. I don't have a need to be successful. I don't have a need to be recognized. I don't have a need to be loved, liked, needed by anything else in this reality. It comes and goes. Everything in this reality comes and goes. I'm the only one who can bring me to wholeness where there is no need. The promise, though, for the kingdom is everything. Gold will always be gold. Gold will always be gold. And it can have. Gold is always rich. There's no need for anything else for gold. I still don't know what the future is going to hold for me. Where it's going to take me. Um, I know that I can't be of great service unless I am complete. That is my task, my task at hand, to become complete. I have been very honest with you guys about sacred secretion. It is the only way that gives you the Christ seed. The Christ seed. This is the original seed of creation. That should be your destiny. That should be your, your destination. Your reason for waking up every single morning is to create the original atom within you, to complete the kingdom. Anything else can be taken away from you. The kingdom is unified, is whole, it's rich. It's contained. It's strong. So I just wanted to share this today. My perspective. 
um, about this. And of course, I would love to hear your thoughts in the process. Um, I still have more information pertaining to our ascension cycle. And I hope to get a little bit out to you guys tomorrow. Um, it's amazing. It's truly amazing to work through wholeness and discover what wholeness truly is. You know, it's it's not, for me, it it's not going to be beneficial to you. You know, if I just say, hey, here's an energetic update and this is what's going on. You know, we all know that the energy has the ability to make us feel something. There's always going to be a person. I like to connect the dots through your ascension cycle. Why is this working through that? Which is why then, which is the reason why you're going to understand why you're feeling the way that you are. Um, working through our ascension cycle is going to take us through so many levels. You know, like uh, going through the root chakra. Of course, we all know that that's the beginning of the Kundalini. But how, why, and explaining all of those things. And then from there, for, for what, you know? Uh, greater understanding, greater knowledge will give you the ability to connect the dots in your life. And that's what I hope to be giving to you guys. Um, that greater value. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.